What's up, YouTube fam? Good morning from Atlanta. It's time for some Whole Foods breakfast. Let's go. You take one of these. Then you take a lot of that. A lot of that. And a lot of that. Let's go. Ty knows what's up. Bacon is an essential breakfast meat. Not turkey bacon. Hmm. Oh, sausage churro. Or chorizo. Churro. That's funny. So after a delicious whole food like breakfast. It is time to be more of a basic than we can possibly be as Californians and go get Starbucks. <laughs> oh, Whole Foods and Starbucks, that's like the white privilege. Why is there no drive -thru? Two things. Why is there no drive through though? They want you to walk in uh -huh. so you can buy their cups and buy their snacks. <clears throat> 15 minute parking, that is all us. That's all we need. That's all we need. Uh -huh. Cappuccino. Latte. Latte. Oh, we just want to get coffee. <coughs> we just have the same good ideas as you. <laughs> Got my shoot shot glass of espresso. Ready to go. Let's take the first shot together. Ready? Oh! Perfect. Dang, boys. It was a mission to get through town. Some sort of marathon going on. So, but we got through town. We're finally parked and we are headed to the truck, I can see it from here. Right there. See her? So not even that far of a walk. Let's go. Get pumped up, guys. We made it. It wasn't even a long walk, like I said. It's all good. Everything's already brought out. Cool. There's a baby. Just like I left her. All right, boys and girls. So about to take the bike down to tech inspection. One of the things you got to bring, you got to bring the helmet and you got to bring the jersey. The helmet, they want to make sure it's it's AMA approved, and they want to make sure it has the hats off device. This thing right here. They want to make sure it has a hats off device, and then they give you all your stuff. Let's go down to tech inspection. It's ridiculous. No. <laughs> now we wait. Also, they gotta verify your AMA frame license number. Which is right there. 
nothing big. It's just all the inner workings for getting you on the track. Like, man, that thing looks good, huh? Look at that end cap on that muffler. Sick. Swing arms all combed out. Nice. Mike Alessi's back. How we get our practice sticker? Beat practice. B group. So, alright, we're gonna get in the main tonight. We'll be in A next week. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Got it? Got it. Thank you. Good luck tonight. Hi, where are you? Right now we get transponder and we're good to go. Now we put on the transponder. Easy stuff, guys. So far, anyway, this is easy. Get one searched even before track walk. Like, what are we gonna bring, right? Oh, geez. Here we go. Time to see what this monster looks like. Guys. Check out his vlog, by the way. Hey, check out my vlog on YouTube. Check it out. I posted one last night. Rest, race prep, and then I'm going to post one tonight, too. He's on that, too. Something that preloads you for the trip win. Something. Yeah. We'll probably want to sing a little or something. Hmm. Look at those whoops. Yeah, buddy. Nice. <laughs> A little deep. A little deep, but not too bad. I like the spacing at least. So on off before the finish. I ripped the same. Yeah, you do. Full throttle. See a little cheater line right there? Looks like they blended in a little bit more dirt right here so you get the drive for that gnarly table things like 15 feet go on up ty it's a long start straight right there that's to maybe second, third, and some guys might grab fourth. All the way to the turn. Click, click. All right, boys and girls, so I'm here with Dave from The Collective Experience. Dave, tell them real quick about what The Collective Experience is. So The Collective Experience is a totally immersive fan experience where you get a chance to hang out with guys like Lundy over here, Seven Deuce Deuce, Seven Deuce Trace, AJ Cat, all the rest of the guys, and yeah. get behind the scenes like never before. And all the money goes towards these guys. It helps them keep going each weekend and uh, gets you guys an unparalleled level of access. So. so where can they check you out at, bro? Check us out at thecollectivexp.com or at thecollectiveex on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I follow them, you guys will see me Definitely. commenting on this stuff all the time make sure and give them a follow and check out the collective x get signed up yes, let's sir. go <laughs>
On the Adam. On the Adam. Wearing the Yeezys on track walk. That guy. Be quick and, by, and, the, and easy on the riders meeting. I'm going to fill you in on some topics that are going to be really important for you to know, both riders and mechanics. So be aware of this information. It'll make your uh, whole day and your evening run much smoother. Welcome to round nine here in Atlanta for the uh, AMA Supercross and FIM World Championship. Uh, like I say every week, Motorsports is an inherently unsafe activity. I want to make sure that you guys had a good chance to see the track, know what it's going to ask of you. And if there's something on this track that is uh, something that you need to address with me, make sure we talk about it right after the riders' meeting. We'll, if there's a safety issue, I'm your go-to person. We'll talk about fixing that or uh, something that you might run into or get, when you're off the track, let me know and I'll take care of it. At the end of it, I'll print it available on AMA. Foundation of the, the hope for power in your life. And it better be available to you at all times at moment's notice. Like one prayer away, like you are under five bars of LTE all the time coverage for this kind of power because you don't know, nor do I, when that showdown is going to show up in your life. And you're going to have to face something that's epic. There's a battle. There's a confrontation. You're going to have to bring all the resources to bear. And I submit to you today as the chaplain that faith plays a major component in your ability as a young man or a young lady to be successful and make the right choice and continue to push forward being and living God's best for your life. Number one, consider raising your confidence. So guys, that was track walk and chapel service with Jake Veneta. He is the coolest pastor I've ever known. He's a way cool guy that is absolutely loving and dedicated to the sport of Supercross Motocross. He's been the chaplain for years for the sport. And uh, he's such a nice guy, so it's always good to sit in on chapel and hear what he's got to say. But now it's time to get back to the truck and get locked and loaded for practice. Alright boys and girls, we're about to head out for our first free practice, so I'm pumped about this. Let's go. Let's do this. It should be pretty good. Everyone's saying that the track's really rough though, so we'll see.
number or qualifier. What qualifier number one? The YouTube fam is here and strong all day. You guys are sick. But well, we're gonna go put this work in right now, boys. Let's go. good things to report so we just slapped some new bars on the bike and he's good wrist is a uh, little little tweaked he has a good little pop mark on his head where he got punched by the helmet other than that he's fine uh, that was luckily just the first qualifier as you saw now we're moving on the second qualifier hopefully he can shake off the dust and he can uh, really you know focus put in at least one really good clean lap so he can get in the night show but that freaking was gnarly. That endo, I don't know if you guys saw it on Supercross Live or if you saw it anywhere, but I know everyone who was in the stands has already come over and checked on because he took a gnarly one, but that guy's got some uh, bones of steel and some muscles of steel and brains of pancakes or something because he's, uh, he's fine. So only good things to report. Put some new uh, bars on the bike. I'm repeating myself, but um here we go guys uh qualifier number two there it is let's put some new bars on it good as new let's go Fix the track up a little bit. Thankfully, it's not as bad as the ruts. Uh, I put in a little bit of. I'll try putting in a little bit of Ty's GoPro footage from his crash, but the the lips were so rutted, and uh, you know that's what contributed to him crashing. But anyway, we got one more chance. Put it in the night show. Get a good hot lap in. Ty thinks he can do it. I know he can do it. But it's time to make it happen. Let's go.
bike all cleaned up, looking sharp. Uh, got all pressure washed and ready to go for the night show. Uh, Tyler qualified in after hurting his wrist pretty bad, which sucks, but. Uh, Matter of fact, we're gonna go over to Asterisk Medical Tent, go get it checked out real quick, just to be sure and certain, make sure that everything's good. So, bike's good, we gotta make sure Ty's good. Ouch, ouch. The ladies are all over Ty. <laughs> Mariana's gonna be jealous. <laughs> I don't want to get him in trouble though. All right, fam. We're just gonna go get Ty checked out real quick. Get a shot of Tord all in his wrist. Make sure he's good for the night. Should be good to go. Section. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I've seen it on the TV. Okay. Yeah. I was waiting for you to tell me. Yeah. I did yeah. the last practice and I had to qualify. I wrote He's got there. the meal too, so he can be able to. But it's starting to, it's starting to really hurt right now. We're going to bring Doc up. Okay. Um, he's going to bring the meal up and then uh, we'll shoot an x ray to make sure there's no fracture inside. Yeah. I mean, you got some good strengths. I don't like the, I don't like your, your grip strength right now. Yeah. Are you gonna try to ride yet tonight? Yeah, I want to. Where's the pain inside? So if she, uh, she tapes you, that'll help a lot. Okay. So yeah, that'd be perfect. At least get you through the night. Yeah. I'm not gonna promise a podium, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, if we can just get through the night. And right. I really wanted to just check to see if there's any fractures. We'll do that. We'll be able to at least actually make sure that if it's not fractured, we'll know you're more, you're doing more muscle attendance. Okay. And then, uh, yeah. and then she can. Yeah, Take it good. because there's no, through. yeah, because there's no initial pain, yeah. like initially, uh -huh. but like now, like later on the day, not doing so much aggressive activity, it's yep. starting to hurt. She's got gotcha. starting to lock up a little bit more. Okay. okay. It's starting This or just going back and forth like that. No, nothing. Let's bring this thing on. Let's see what Let me get out of the way. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. 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 What's up? Oh, 13,000 yeah. steps. Yeah. How many miles is that? Yeah. Like three or four, but I usually get nine. It's all looking pretty good. We get the Gerber What's salt. To the yeah, a little, little, uh, did you ever break your ski plate before? Maybe. Yeah. It kind of looks old, but let me just try this. Let's uh, go a little bit of a angle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Getting the jujitsu. Yeah, for Yeah, doing a little <laughs> gymnastics here. To, just, I'm trying to get that skateboard in that profile. There it is. Yeah, yeah it, can, it kind of makes me wonder. You got a line right there. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, if you got the story you have is like that. Uh huh. Because the skateboard is, it, it'll fool you. Yeah. You don't see it right away. Mm -hmm. Study the history of it. 
Yeah, but if you broke it in the past, yeah. Yeah, I have that. Let me explain. It. I have. I have. That is one. that the one that's connected to your thumb? Well, your thumb, your thumb is that right there. Yeah. And then there's a trapezium. You have a little bit of spur formation. Trapezium. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, so I've broken that. Yeah, but this this bone is a straight bone. Okay. <laughs> This view looks really good. Like yeah, but the back side. Yeah, or just if you get the right profile of it, it might might actually be. I don't know. It's pretty hard to see that thing. Yeah, it's pretty hard to see it. Yeah, it. So, yeah. The radius. The radius. Uh, we've been looking at that. That all looks good. Your ulna looks good. I don't see anything else going on there. So I think you're probably more just spraying it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't see anything else to get excited about. We're excited about. Well, We're excited, man. We're excited you're okay. Don't see anything else. <laughs> We're excited you can suck it up, Buttercup. <laughs> so nice. yeah. Give him a tortle shot and we'll be out. Or what do you think? I should just leave it ice? Uh, well, yeah. Uh, I mean, what did it start hurting today? No, I ate shit today the first time qualifying and then I went and rode second time qualifying. It took a little bit to warm up, but it's just been getting worse. Uh, like yeah. What I mean is, um, yeah, you were doing okay before today, yeah. and then yes. now it's now you're here because it's hurting because yeah. of the crash. Yes. So for yeah, I mean, I would just ice it. And okay. Do are you gonna try and ride more? Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna tape it up for him. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. So I yeah tape it up, ice it. Okay. Or it or it'll be all right if you want to do that. Was the I mean, what, I've never even had a total shot, honestly. It's an intramuscular injection of an anti-inflammatory drug. Okay. It's a power. It's a more powerful anti-inflammatory effect. It's not a narcotic, so it's not going to affect your mind at all. Yeah. That's why we can use it out here because okay. you know, you're not yeah, going to yeah. screw it's up not your. Be like a super advil, super advil. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But yeah. it's like a, yeah. It's Directly like a to advil. site. Yeah. 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 Super it, it, it's a good painkiller. It's oh, okay. been developed for you know high levels of pain management. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Take so, it. <laughs> Let's go. If you're gonna ride out, I would take it. Uh, can we do that then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's a good idea. Get a Amy can tape you up. Okay. We'll start with that. And then All right, dude. We'll good luck, man. Yeah, we'll be out you. there. Have you? Uh, you been touching dude's ass all day? He's yeah. fucking furry one. He has been doing that all day. Ready? Don't yeah. flex. <laughs> Don't flex. <laughs> what? Yeah. No flex. Done. No flex. Done. Oh shit. That's it, baby. Oh, all right, thanks, guys. Are you done now? Yeah. Okay, good. Why is it like that? Thanks, gang. Nope. No problem. So, he's all bandaged, got the tort all shot. Good news and bad news. Good news is, he can ride the night show. Bad news is, is it hurts, and he's gotta go perform when he's hurt. Look, he's got the Michael Jackson glove on. Wonder Woman band. <laughs> <laughs> gonna make it happen though make the best of it all right guys so I gotta just take a second and say YouTube fam you guys are nuts man you guys showed up big time at Atlanta it was like hard to even get any bike work done because everyone was coming by and saying what's up but do not take that ungraciously I appreciate every single one of you guys that stopped by today. I love every single one of you guys and you know it, but that was sick. Like it was just so crazy with everyone that came by today. I, I knew from all the messages I was getting that uh, Atlanta was going to be insane with the fam coming from Georgia and I didn't believe it, but seeing it now it's, it's nuts. You, the riding community here, the YouTube fam, strong in Atlanta. It's going to be hard to top that. The rest of the YouTube fam that wasn't here today. That's gonna be hard to top. So you guys are definitely gonna have to show up at Daytona to put these Georgia folk away, man, because it was insane how many people were here today, uh, all just strapped around the rig. 
uh, saying what's up, giving well wishes to Ty and I, and uh, we really appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts, guys. I mean, it means so, so much to us. So anyways, off with uh, that topic. It is night show time, guys. We got bikes all ready. The stadium's ready. It is going to be sick. Uh, so as you guys saw in the doctor's office, no brakes. Um, it looks like he might have aggravated a previous break a little bit. They could see the scar tissue on the bone a little bit from it. And uh, But other than that, he's all right. They think it's just, you know, a, a bruised tendon, you know, stretch tendon, something like that. But either way, they taped him up, gave him a shot of Toradol in his butt, and we're good to go. We're going to send it. So he does have a limited range of motion. Uh, a little bit you know in in the throttle way so hopefully that does not affect him when it comes to laying down the throttle on that start hopefully he after that tordal shot kicks in he'll be able to really make something happen so other than that i'm going to cut the jibber jabber let's get out to the track and get this heat race started hopefully so i can suck it up buttercup and put it in the main if not we just gotta at least finish the night show for him to get paid uh that thousand bucks for making the night show and then you know we're gonna practice during the week and hit daytona hard but i'm not getting my hopes down yet i still just know he's he has two chances you know we got i don't know why i held up three fingers shoot chances to make it in so heat two lcq and then if he doesn't no big deal guys we're halfway through the season right now and if he does then i'll be partying all over him man but either way we're gonna go uh, I gotta gear up. He's gotta gear up. We go hit the track. Let's go. YouTube fam Ty ended up not finishing that was a DNF for us he didn't crash his wrist just really hurts got a bad start and he couldn't work his way up through the pack not sure what's going on I just grabbed the bike went and put fuel in it really quick now I'm head back to staging but he's not feeling I think that crash earlier kind of sucked some of his confidence away but We'll go see what we can do in the LCQ. All right, so kind of as a Hail Mary, Tyler feels like his fork protector where the hole shot device is drilled, feels like it's not engaging low enough. So when he launches, he still is kind of in a wheelie. 
So we raised up the the whole shot device uh, about 10 millimeters. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, it could get them over the front more, get that gate drop. But fingers crossed. wasn't tonight boys so many more nights to come don't worry don't be sad don't be distressed don't be down on tie let's go wash this bike we'll talk about it more well I was gonna finish the bike work and said this mofo insisted I go up and watch the main. So he kind of talked me into it, TBH. Let's go. Let's go.
that is a wrap, Atlanta. Congrats to all of KTM, guys. One, two, three. Baggett put on a hard charge, got second place. Cooper Webb, my dude, killed it, got first. Moosecan, real tight in there with the third place. Congrats to Team KTM and all their factions. That was a good race, guys. I love every single one of you. I'm going to head to the hotel, get this uploaded, and I will talk to you guys soon. That's a promise. Peace out. In the Atlanta is going on here. This guy. I'll never understand. That's what I call a midnight dinner at IHOP. Oh, man. You know, after a good day of racing, nothing beats a good meal from a franchise breakfast house. <laughs> hey, literally, though, on the bright side, Homeboy's car is still going all night. Just letting everyone know he's on the LED game. Strong. <laughs>